Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And today I'm here to show you how I made my August customer thank you card with the new perfectly preserved stamp set from the Stampin' Up! 2012 holiday catalog. And I know this stamp set is probably thought of as an autumn set because especially when you look at the designer paper, the Orchard Harvest paper with all of its beautiful warm colors that coordinates with it, it really makes you think of autumn. But this stamp set is so much more and I'm going to show you my bright cheery um, summer card that I made with it. So let's go ahead and get started. We need our Sizzix Big Shot and I'm going to use, also new from the 2012-2013 catalog, the Argyle embossing folder. And so how we do this, our sandwich is open to tab one. And what I found easiest is to take this and go ahead and get this out of my way and put that through first. And so our sandwich is cutting plate, our embossing folder, and because this is my customer thank you card, I'll be making a bunch of these. <laughs> I'm going to do two of this decorative piece at one time. So that will save me a lot of time, half the cranking time on here. And go ahead and close my folder, lay that on there, and cutting plate. So a little time saving tip for you. You go ahead and crank through 3,000 pounds of pressure. And then I just love this. Look at all these diamonds for this argyle. It is so much prettier than it was in the book. I am just really, really pleased with this. Love that. Okay, we are not done with the Big Shot. I'm going to use again um, this sandwich with open to tab 2. Need a cutting pad. And then I have the new Delicate Doilies medium sizzlets and this is from the 2012-2013 catalog and I need two of them so I might as well go ahead and, and do all three at one time and I'll have these left over for another project so I just cut that to four and a quarter by five and a half cover the whole thing and so just nothing at all different or strange about this sandwich and just crank that through this is just like magic to me <laughs> here we go and then out pop are different are different doilies. Love this. Okay, let me set aside my big shot and I'll be right back to show you the rest of the card. Okay, so I've got the big shot set aside and I have my three doilies, which of course get a lot prettier once you start poking out all the little pieces to make them. And I'm finding the paper piercing tool is just working so handy for this. So I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me do that all day long. And I have the three, and this one I'll set aside for another project. I am using both of these for my um, August customer thank you card. And so I need to get all of those pushed out. And by the magic of TV, I have those done. Aren't those just beautiful doilies? Yay. <laughs> okay. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my paper snips, because I only need half of this. And so the cool thing is I'll be able to get two out of these for every card. And I don't need to be perfect with my cutting because it's going to be tucked away, the bottom edge. So we'll just go ahead and cut that right in half. Okay, and so now we're ready to start stamping. And I am absolutely loving stamping on my paper piercing mat. And this side with the stamp of logo I stamp on, the other side I do my piercing. I just have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and from the Perfectly Preserved, I'm going to use these cherries. Aren't they just so sweet? And I have Gumball Green and Real Red Stampin' Right markers. And just go ahead and color this in oh so quickly. You know, when you're making as many customer thank you cards as I do, you need to keep them simple, but they still have to be Beautiful, so fast yet fabulous. <laughs> All right, and using that brush in, let's go ahead and fill in our cherries. Yeah, I don't know, 
don't bite you, but it's so much easier to stamp and see what I'm doing when I'm stooping over it and I'm trying to stay out of the shot. <laughs> so we're going to huff and stamp. And the stamp and fierce mat just gives me a really nice image for the, the bold stamps and large and all the detail. I'm just loving it. And so I have the one and quarter inch circle punch. And I can center and see what I'm doing. And punch that out. And voila, there we go. So now we're ready to start assembling. And so I just need some snail adhesive. Isn't that pretty? I fooled with a lot of different colors, putting red behind it, and, and I just like the simplicity of that white on the white. Very pretty. And so remember this piece that we had. And I said a very simple card. I am just all about simplicity right now. You know how we go through phases. <laughs> and so we just need to start putting it together. And I will need mini glue dots. Whenever we have texture, like we do with um, the embossed, you know, from my Argyle, we need the mini glue dots to hold this down. And so we don't want to touch the glue dots. We take the cardstock to them and press down. You can touch them, but it'll take away from the extreme stickiness, and that would defeat the purpose. So I'm going to place this. I'm just placing it right now. And then, remember I have this half of my doily. So get some adhesive on there. I'm running low on my snail. <laughs> Time to get a new one. Okay, before I place this down, let's tuck this under here. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And so then again, because of this texture, I need my mini glue dots for the back of here. And you know what? I got up. I'm doing my videos really late and really early in the cool of the day, but when it's 80 degrees at 5 in the morning, you just can't stop those air conditioners, so I apologize for the air conditioners that you hear in the background. And put this on there. And then from the Sweet Essentials, the Thinking of You. I love Thinking of You. It works for everything. It could be sympathy, birthday, a thank you. You're thinking of them if you're sending them a card. And it's just such a great phrase. I love that. And so let me show you my finished card because it's almost done. And here we go. And so this is my August customer thank you card. And to let you know how much I appreciate that you do your Stampin' Up! shopping with me. I truly do appreciate that so much. And, and one way of showing you that is by sending you a hand stamp card. You go ahead and place your August customer um, order with me in my online Stampin' Up! store. And that is www.stampinsmiles.stampinup.net. Stampin' Smiles Stampin' Up dot net S T A M P I N S M I L E S dot net uh, Stampin' Smiles Stampin' Up dot net. Anyway, so when you place your order with me, you're going to get this handmade card in the mail, and so it's so easy to do. Just go on over, and everything I've shown you, you can order starting today from the holiday catalog the perfectly preserved stamp set that is like I said so much more than just an autumn set of course it makes you think of that with the canning jar but we've got flowers and the cherries and the, and the pear and but you can easily turn those into fall looking but today I have this bright cherry uh, customer thank you card and so go ahead and place your order in my online Stampin' Up! store and I will mail this card to you happily. <laughs> so this is Shelley Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.